What's happening guys, another episode of Fishing with Wobbly and we're going to go down to Missouri because that's the lake I'm sort of on at the moment and I'm going to go after my first catfish, so here we go, I'm all set up, so I just need to select me rod, now this is mainly aimed at the beginning, just like me, because I've never caught a catfish before so this is my first attempt at catching the old catfish first of all I need the right rod, so let's select the float rod which I've already set up here, I'll explain the setup a little bit later um, let me just advance the time, um, which is very important um, on your map it, you will have like a fish finder, a guide for the peak time, the best time for catching the fish and you can advance the time like I've just done there my time was somewhere between 12 and 5 I think it was on my uh, fish finder, on my guide, recommended guide for catching um, the best fish at the best time so here we go fast forwarded the time so it's not always necessarily early in the morning not in at night and last thing in the evening you've got to take note of that guide it's very important that is to uh, fish at the correct time so let's have a go let's see if we can uh, see if we can catch our first catfish which is probably going to be a small one I've only got light tackle so if I do I happen to look here you are, we're in we're in straight away easy as that look at that straight away Let's sell pizza catfish. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, there's my first one. That's how easy it is. Wouldn't you know how? <laughs> so let's give him a kiss and chuck him back in or chuck him in the net. There we go. Just look at that. Now if you notice I'm actually fishing here on this Missouri lake um, opposite the uh, the kayak there, the yellow kayak. I think there's a green one to the left of it but you just can't, uh, you can't see it too well. And um, there's, some, uh, there's some reeds, there's some lily pads in the middle of the lake. I can actually only um, cast out around about 34 to 38 feet with this current tackle which I've got. Like I say I'm still at novice level, I'm only level 6 or 7. Um, at the moment. Oh, we're in! We're in! We got another one! So I'm not cast, casting out very far. And I'm actually at full depth. I've got me, me I've got me, look at that! It's a, there we go! Another catfish! <laughs> Give him a kiss! Chuck him back in, Wobbly! It's Look how easy it is! Once you know how small cut pieces, that's what I'm using at the moment. If, you, if you're if you a lower level than me and you haven't got access to them small cut pieces, then try cheese. Um, cheese does work, um, no doubt I'll be on the cheese a little bit later in the afternoon here because uh, I shall probably run out of the uh, small cut pieces but just look how easy that was um, I'm at maximum depth with my float um, so I'm fishing as probably on the bottom which is where you need to be so that's 99, um, I don't know if it's in inches anyway we're, we're maximum depth 99 on the uh, float ledger there on the float adjustment so let's see how we get on got the float rod only got eight pound line and the number one hook if you haven't got the number one hook yet um try number two hook and you, you should still catch them and while i was rabbiting on there i think we had a little knock on the bobbin um i didn't hit it um sometimes i miss them you get a little knock on the bobbin and I, and I missed, here we go, that's a good bite, let's try that, I think we're in, there we go, another young channel catfish, easy peasy, let's give him a kiss and chuck him back in, <laughs> or chuck him in the net, just look at that, easy when you know how, one for the album, let's take a picture, for the old wobbly album, back home.
gone a little bit quiet. Let's just wait a little bit, a little bit more. We're we surely we're going to catch more catfish. I'm sure, we'll get another one in a minute. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Now I've got my tension down quite a lot on me reel just in case I do hit into a big one and it doesn't snap me line straight away. So I'll keep. Oh, that's a good bite. That's a good one. Oh, look at this. We're in. So I've got my tension down just in case I do hit a big fish and it doesn't snap me line straight away and I, I do stand a little bit of a chance with it. This one feels a good one actually. This is a big one. This is a whopper. Oh, this is this is a big one. No. Nope. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was a bullhead. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Let's give him a kiss and chuck him in the net. I thought we got a big one then. He was a fighter nevertheless. So I've been here all afternoon now. Um... We'll just round it up very quickly. I've been catching these catfish um, consistently um, Why I've been here in my peak fishing time. Probably caught round about 20, 20 catfish in total. Um, I've edited the video because the video would have been an hour longer for the show, yeah, um, me catching them all because I was here around about one hour just over an hour in real time oh we're in again we're in again oh this is a big one this is a big one <laughs> oh this is a good one. Oh, he's going out he's going right out across the lake look at that he's taking he was taking a bit of line there he's gone out he's gone out 53 54 57 feet he's going he's he's spinning me line off i don't tighten the tension up i'll snap my line with this eight pound line he's spinning off I'm not going to get this one, not on this tackle, this one's, I think this one's just a little bit too big, oh my lines are going snap, that's it, lower your tension a bit there, 87, 80 feet he's out now, 85 feet, oh dear, it's tense, just my tension, I don't put too much tension on the reel, else it's going to snap my line, I've only got 8 pound line, he's going 80 feet, 90 feet out, <laughs> We got jaws here, we got jaws. <laughs> 100 feet he's taking the line. Oh, my line's going to snap. Lower the tension. Oh, <laughs> the line snapped. Only got an 8-pound line there. So I've got to set up. That, that, I think that was a good fish. Like I said, I'm at novice level. I haven't got a decent reel to put some heavy line on. I have got um, some stronger line. Um... I've got, I think I've got some 30 pounds, some 20 pound line, which says it's not suitable for the reel. But nevertheless, here on, later on in the day, I have put that stronger line on just in case I get another big one now. So here we go. We're in again. The one that got away, hey. Wonder if that one will come back. What have we got here? It's a little one, isn't it? There we go. Give him a kiss. Chuck him back in. We got another bullhead there. Catfish master level one. Like I say, I'm a novice. This is how I leveled up with my catfish. Um, there we go, catfish level one. Like I say, I've been here all afternoon. Probably caught around about 20 fish so far. Um, and I have edited this video. I got to catfish master level two um, on my first ever catfish um, fishing expedition. <laughs> there we go, we got another one. Let's give him a kiss. Chuck him back in. And there we go, you see me levelling up to Catfish Master level 2. And that's the fish finder guys. Do you see this here? This is the this is the bit here. This is where you want to advance the time to that peak time where it spikes up. Um, it's no good fishing before or after that, I'll shoot. You, you won't be as successful, you won't catch as many. That was that's very important in the game to fish in your peak time there, and um, I caught round about 20 plus fish I think, and uh, I was fishing down this part of the map here where that kayak is, 
only casting around about 30 feet out because I haven't got the tattle to cast out further. I'm going to come back um, another time, see if I can catch some bigger ones with some beef me tackle up just a little bit. And uh, in another video, hopefully, I'll catch some bigger catfish. But um, this is what I was fishing with. I ended up fishing on the cheese. I could still catch the bullheads and the, the young catfish on the cheese because um, I ran out of the small cut uh, pieces. A number one hook I had. I had 8 pound line, after the snap I did put the 20, I think it was the 20 or 30 pound line on the reel which um, causes more damage but I did give it a go, fishing maximum depth on my floater there. So there we go guys, so if you were a novice like me I hope maybe that helps you to find the catfish. Uh, we'll round it up now, we'll just go see if we can find my stats on how many fish I actually caught that afternoon, let's just have a look. So here we go guys, let's round it up. I actually caught 26 fish there that particular afternoon. Um, I got two trophy fish as well there. Um, so I had quite a good session. All catfish and bullheads. Um, variety of catfish and bullheads that we caught. And that's what I was after the catfish. Managed to progress up to catfish, master level two. So if you were a beginner, I hope maybe if you were struggling, maybe that video, this video here has helped you. Um, because then were my first catfish that I've ever caught. So thanks for watching guys, hope you can join me for another episode of Wobbly Goose Fishing. Um, so maybe hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and tight lines. <laughs>